Hello and welcome to The Pulse. I'm Ron Roberson. My very special guest today is Susan Jeske. She's the CEO of the Ms. America pageant. Susan, welcome. Thank you for having me. So glad to have you with us. And I feel like I'm surrounded by royalty here with all these crowns and things. <laughs> I know, I feel like it too. <laughs> yeah. If you would give us a, a brief history of the pageant itself. Okay. Well, the Ms. America pageant is for women 26 years of age and up, mm -hmm. single, married, divorced, or widowed. They could be with or without children. Mm -hmm. And the pageant is based on evening gown, interview, sportswear, and on-stage question. Mm -hmm. and, and so when you get into this, how, how does this compare to some of the other pageants that we have? Um, good question. Well, mm -hmm. the Miss America pageant, the Miss America pageant is for women 17 to 24, mm -hmm. and they have to be single only. And that's based on evening gown interview um, swimwear and talent mm -hmm. and they get a scholarship in order to go on to college and uh, with the Ms. America pageant that's for women 26 years of age and up. Right now you talked um, uh, earlier to me um, about um, women having a platform to stand on in opposed to just being out there in different types of outfits and that type of thing. Yes um, mm -hmm. we ask every contestant that enters into the pageant to have a cause or a platform that they believe in that they would like to actively promote throughout their reign mm -hmm. and it actually is really really fantastic um, and uh, the girls have got you know such great uh, causes that they are really passionate about and the title the state or regional title gives them a platform mm -hmm. that they can go out and make a difference with. I want them to use the title and the crown in order to um, do something good for their community and for the nation. Right. Um, when, I, when, I, when I look at pageants, there's so many things uh, that really uh, intrigue me about it. Uh, and, I, I, and, I, and I'm not hesitant. I'm open to say that I'm really partial to the swimwear. Uh, <laughs> uh, you don't have that in your pageant, though, right? No, there's no swimsuit and there's no talent. Um, in my opinion, mm -hmm. <laughs> in my opinion, we have a sportswear. And uh, the reason why is because Whoever Ms. America is, she doesn't go out in public and make appearances in public. Mm -hmm. And uh, when you're, you know, we have older contestants in the pageant, and I don't think having cottage cheese on your mm -hmm. legs is anything that's that important. <laughs> yeah. So what, what is it des designed to do? Is it uh, the pageant itself designed to uplift? Uh, the pageant is designed to celebrate women and their accomplishments and for them to use the title in order to go out and make a difference. For instance, in 1997, I was the very first Ms. America, and my platform was Students Against Violence. And uh, the reason why is because I was from Littleton, Colorado, where the Columbine incident happened, oh, and my right. nieces and nep nephews went to school there. Right. And um, so I did 150 high schools across the nation, and it was really fabulous. I actually had four students at four different high schools come up to me and tell me they were planning on killing themselves. Right. One had actually purchased a gun. And um, so through me uh, going out and doing it, uh, you know, you can really, really make a difference with this crown and this title. And that's what I was able to do, and I want to pass that on to other contestants. Wow. Uh, how does one apply? How does one get involved? Um, the, how you apply for the pageant is you go to the website, which is MsAmericaPageant.com, mm -hmm. and you just fill out the application there. And uh, then we go through the applications and your photos and everything. And then from there, they're at-large titles. So you will be, if you are accepted, then um, you can represent your state or regional in the pageant. Wow. Yeah, Beautiful. it's very fantastic. And you'll get a crown. Well, I guess I was going to um, ask you. You yeah. get a state crown and you get a state banner. Uh -huh. And um, when you come to the pageant, uh, it's a four-day pageant. It's very, very exciting. Mm -hmm. And uh, and then somebody walks away with the crown. Wow. And you've bought um, some beautiful crowns here. I've, I've never been up really close uh, to one of these. And also a beautiful scepter. Yes. Uh, they keep this for the entire, they get to keep this. Uh, um, they For the state crowns, they get to keep that uh, for their whole you know reign for the rest of their life. And um, for the national winner, she does get to keep this crown. It's, it's one of a kind. Nobody mm -hmm. else has it. And um, it's, it's actually quite expensive. So she gets to keep that as part of her prizes. And then she also has an opportunity in order to win an award from the President of the United States. It's the wow. Presidential Volunteer Service Award. So, wow. so far, every single contestant, um, at, well, every single queen, national queen, has walked away with an award from the President of the United States. So it's mm -hmm. pretty nice. Seems like the Ms. Uh, pageant, uh, America pageant, is, is more for like the inner woman. Uh, right. I mean, forgive me, I, I, I don't know how that feels, but, uh, <laughs> but am I saying it right though, uh, making a woman feel good from the inside out uh, and opposed from the outside in? Um, you know, I, I actually believe all pageants do that. I, mm -hmm. I'm a very big pageant fan. I competed in the Miss America pageant system as well as the Miss USA pageant when I was younger, and I competed in all the various pageants. Um, so they, those other systems, I think that gets you prepared for life. Mm -hmm. And this pageant is somebody who's already been out and have, has life experience. And they're able to, um, we have doctors, we have lawyers mm -hmm. in, on, 
in the pageant. We have CNN news reporter who mm -hmm. was uh, in the pageant. Um, they're really, really high power women so, uh, who enter into this pageant and they want to use it in order to give back to their community. That's what it's about. Yeah. Thank you so much. Really fascinating and continued success. Oh, thank you so much for having me. I really appreciate it. Great. My <laughs> very special guest has been Susan Jeske. She is the CEO of the Ms. America pageant and uh, coming to a television station near you uh, real soon, right? Sounds good. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for watching us. This is The Pulse. I'm Ron Roberson. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye. <laughs>